Hello everyone, today we're going to explore the different options for the twist command in Rhino and we're going to create a series of towers and we're going to twist them and see the result of the command. So I'm going to start by creating a tower. So actually let's create a volume for the columns. This should be fine and we're going to use the command array to set up our columns, let's put 6 by 6 and 1 is the axis and let's just place the columns around this size and enter to accept and now we're just going to delete the inner column so we have an exoskeleton maybe the tower is a little bit short so I'm going to select them all and scale them in 1D Make sure you go to the bottom one with your shift, press and shift, and actually screw them vertically. So this should be fine. And we we'll see it on our perspective view. You know, we have our raw columns, and now we're gonna create the four slabs. I'm just gonna put them on the center of these columns. So so it is intersecting but not covering the column on the outside and we're going to make this a planar surface we can delete the curve after that and we're just going to go and use the offset surface command we're going to make sure we have it a solid and 0.5 units which is way way bigger than I thought it would be let's do it a uh, solid 0.1 this should be fine. And let's move this to one unit. Which, in this case, I'm working on decimals. Instead of like 10 units, I'll do one unit. And I'll array this in the y direction, maybe 40 times, to have 40 stories. Now we can just Go here and select the one unit, and as you can see, it array all the, the floor steps. Let's scale this down so we can have like a, a 40 story tower. Just make it extrude a little bit. Perfect. And we have created our tower. And something. It's odd. Okay, great. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go and copy this tower maybe like ten times to see all the different options that the that the twist command will give us. So we'll accept. Here we have a line of towers. So I'm just going to keep this one as a reference to rework. And also, probably before doing that, let's group the tower. So it's one single object. And let's do the array again. Maybe eight, eight samples should be plenty. So here we have our eight towers. Just enter to accept, and as you can see, each is a group individually. So we're gonna leave this one as a reference. We're gonna start with this one and see what we can do. So if you go to transform at the twist command, let's twist this tower from the, the bottom, from the origin of the center, all the way up. And then it's going to ask you for a reference angle. So you can just click with shift to either side. And then if you start rotating it, it will give you a different degree. So let's say we do a 90 degree. So if you see the result that it gives us, it's a tower that has been twisted 90 degrees. And that's really easily done. 
in less than five minutes. And you can have your um, your concept or idea quickly, easily done on Rhino. So now let's see what else we can do. Let's do again the twist command. And this time, instead of going all the way up, let's go like halfway the tower. Say up to here. And let's do 45 degrees instead of 90. And so you can see it twisted it on the bottom only, and then you still have your tower straight. Um, just a really interesting design as well. And we can try it on different towers. Let's say, let's do a 180. So as you can see, it's just like plus on itself. But now you can just play around with it and get all this different uh, twisting on your tower. But let's let's try something different. Instead of uh, starting from the center, let's start from maybe from one corner of the tower. We just go here. Oh, get a bit of twist command. Let's move it 45 degrees. See what it gives us. So as you can see, the whole tower is this is around this column. And here, you're left with this and a shape. Just just it, but it's a straight at the one point, and it, it creates really interesting designs. Now let's see if we take it even further than that. Let's just space this a little bit more so we have to see the effect. And now let's just do 270 degrees. As you can see now your tower is totally organic or abstract. Or you want to call it, then it's just a spire, uh, just in around one single column. So you have one straight column, and then all the other ones are you know, like spiraling around this column. It gives you this kind of shape. So let's try something different now. Let's say we want to twist it at an angle. So let's just put this here on this corner, and if you go to your front view, let's click it at an angle, and let's just do oh, that online again. Just, and actually, what I like to do is just to select or um, place my my object on the origin when I want to snap. So when I go to the front view, I can just snap right here into this corner. So I'm making sure that this is on the, on the red line right here. You can just easily select here at the bottom, on this corner. Then when I go to the other corner of the, of the object, it's going to select it right there in the middle of the column. And let's twist this and um, 90 degrees. See what effect it gives us. As you can see, now our tower is tilting as it goes up because we used our twist at an angle. And to make this even more interesting, we can combine the twistings. Let's say something really random. Can twist it many times. Let's say I want the tower at the beginning to be just the three quarters, like 90 degrees, and then I don't want to bend it the way we did it with the other tower. Something random, maybe, and it's just to. 
1.5. So as you can see, we combine two distant commands and you started getting this more organic towers that in a way looks really interesting and it's just trial and error than just getting exactly the look that you want for your tower and this has been the so we start from this shape and we slowly try the twist and commands on all these other ones and we got really interesting results and obviously if you wanna take it further you can actually go and model into more detail your building if you have any voids or you have double height ceilings or ramps going on and even though it will distort it a little bit if you have a, a complete design or somehow a more detailed design than this with the uh, maybe with a curtain wall but you can group them and then do the twist and command and you will have a really interesting result also you have to keep in mind that as as, as you increase the uh, amount of detail and amount of objects on your file it's gonna take longer to uh, to do the twist and command and sometimes I try this with a really big file and it just freezes for a couple of minutes until it gives into the, the result that I want so just keep that in mind and so this has been the Rhino tutorial for the twisting command in the tower. I hope you enjoy it and if you have any questions just let me know and subscribe for more tutorials in the future.